What's up guys, it's a back-to-back -back Galaxy S10 news day. The real power is upon us. Samsung has just officially revealed the true Galaxy S10 power, aka the Exynos 9820, with a lot of new improvements and exciting new features. So before I talk about that, we're gonna take a look at the Infinity O display that we discussed earlier from a major S10 leak from EvLeaks revealed that the Infinity O is going to be the design for the Samsung Galaxy S10. I got a mixed reaction from you guys. Some people were happy. Well, most of you were happy since it's better than a notch. I asked you guys about the positioning and most were saying that the hole should be in the center. Phone Arena also did a poll and basically they got the same reaction. Venya Gaskin made some new renders of the Infinity O Galaxy S10 design and comparing it side by side with the iPhone XS Max, we definitely have a fresh look. I mean, Notch is getting really boring at this point. He brought this interesting aspect of gaming on this whole design and how your thumb will block it so it won't bother you while gaming. And during video watching, this is how uh, this mole on the screen will appear and I'm sure there will be some kind of option to have a black bar or something like that to hide it. Again, we'll see how Samsung will truly deliver this design. So back to the topic, the Exynos 9820 is revealed and it's built on a 8 nanometer process instead of 7 nanometer but the performance gains are still insane. Other than the performance, one of the main things here is the integrated NPU, the neural processing unit specifically for the AI task that includes enhancing photos. Yes, that's the most important one. I want the HDR performance to be top notch in order to rival the Google Pixel 3 camera. By the way, the night mode is now officially on the Pixel 3 phone and this is just incredible. I tried this out myself and it's just absolutely amazing. So I want Samsung to bring something to the table that would rival the Pixel camera. So along with enhanced photos, we'll have advanced AR features as well. So a total of eight cores are here, two Cortex A75 for optimal performance. It stays optimal, but they are RM's high performance. It stays optimal, but they are RM's high performance cores. We also have the Cortex A55 cores, four of them for that greater efficiency. But the difference comes with the two high performance custom fourth generation cores that will bring out the best performance. Previously Samsung had four custom cores and four Cortex A55 cores but this time they went with two custom cores and two Cortex A75 cores. So they added that for greater performance. It's kind of similar to Apple A12, but it has two additional high performing cores. The NPU chip is here to perform the AI related functions. It is said to be seven times faster than its predecessor. So, so overall, compared to the last year, we have 20% improvement in single core performance and up to 15% improvement in the multi-core performance. So in the benchmarks, I think we can see around 11,000 multi-core score and easily above 4,000 in single core compared to the Exynos 9810. The speeds have massive improvements as well. The Exynos 9820 has two GPPS download speeds and up to 300 Mbps upload speed. This is quite high compared to Kirin 980, which has the 1.4 GPPS download speed and 200 Mbps upload speed. GPU gains are here as well. We have the Melee G76 GPU. It's the same one as the Kirin 980 of Huawei, but it has uh, two extra cores, so instead of 10, we have 12 cores on this beast and about 40% increase in gaming performance compared to the Crane 9810's GPU. And again, this is the most important one. The Exynos 9820 will have multi-camera support. So obviously this confirms that the triple camera setup is coming to the S10 Plus and we'll see greater photo quality and faster autofocus and things will get further enhanced by AI capabilities of the NPU. So really, the picture enhancement game on the Samsung Galaxy S10 will be a main thing. And uh, also when we talk about the video, this thing is ridiculous. It supports up to 8K video video recording. Holy moly, 8K 30fps, that is a glimpse of futuristic power. I'm sure Samsung Galaxy S10 won't be recording videos at 8K, I mean that is quite overkill. It is capable but we'll see enhanced 4K 60fps performance. In fact, 
Samsung mentions that 4K at 150fps is supported, which is insane. Also, the enhanced security is here, and uh, this image kind of confirms that the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner inside the display is coming and thanks to the 8 nanometer process it will be about 10% power efficient than the last year's chip it will optimize the power consumption of CPU and GPU through reduced operating voltage and that's it it is a huge improvement compared to the last year model I just want Samsung to bring this with all of its power normally what they do is that they kind of hinder the performance of this chip in order to match it with the Qualcomm chipset so I hope that should not be the case with this one because this is looking really really powerful uh, so let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section what do you think about the performance here i'll keep you guys updated with the latest news make sure to subscribe to the channel for that and i will see you guys in the next one peace out